this video I'm gonna show you how to set up Roku and how to install Spectrum TV app on it if you have the cable box uh, from Spectrum Spectrum allows you to use uh, Roku or any other device or you if you have a Samsung TV uh, or Apple TV you can download the app and watch uh, on another TV absolutely free it's uh, they don't charge you extra for this I'm hoping that this has an a it's not just Wi-Fi only and it has a HDMI uh, sorry the Ethernet port as well um, I hope I bought it new and uh, just to make this video I might end up giving this away for to somebody but I wanted to make sure that what you need to know how to connect it how to troubleshoot it so you can enjoy more um, watching rather than being on the call with us let's open this one so this is it um, we have two cables two cables mean that it probably does not have the Ethernet port I'm pretty sure about that um, so that's the remote battery and all that so let's verify yes we have an Ethernet uh, the HDMI port and the power and this tiny reset button access yep but no it seems looks like yep no is ethernet so we're gonna connect it with the wi-fi and let's set it up so this is the hdmi port big one the small one is the power but you see that hdmi port and this is the hdmi cable on the back of your tv um there should be some ports if it's a newer model up to three um if it's an old one there could be only one I have heard calls where people are saying, hey, well, how do I connect it? I have only one HDMI and now something is already in there. I have to tell them, hey, you either get a new TV, it's, you know, Christmas or New Year, there are sales going on, or you need to unplug that one and then connect it. So this is the device. I'm going to connect it back, power it on, and then show you. So if you can see, it's blinking, the power's light is on. So let's get to the TV and power let's get the TV on and and then say I don't see it or anything uh, it's a total video department so I have to send them over but you have to actually select the HDMI that it is plugged on um, all of my HDMI's they were already uh, hooked up so I removed one of the fire stick and install the Roku I'm gonna end up removing the Roku after making this video because we don't need Roku in this house uh, we have the cable and I'm old school I like the cable the best feature is you can pause live TV on Roku or on a Spectrum TV app you can do that so again go to the source it's HDMI 2 I select it and then I show you what's it saying is let's start and if I can show you it's set up on English so click OK. Uh, I have to use it with the Roku remote. Uh, let me uh, put the, uh, pick up that remote. All right. So this is the remote. What looks like this is this is button is very important. This is the left arrow key, and this one is the back button. Whenever we are telling you to press left, uh, always press this button. Do not press this button so this is the ok button then home uh, i can show you a little bit clear and this is the back button as well like rewind reverse play and all that and this just quick launch button for so we're gonna press ok looking for wireless connection i'm sorry yes so it's asking me which wireless connection to go so if i can show you right here you see 2.4 so the thing with Roku devices is 2.4 is longer range. It's uh, it goes farther. It's slower and farther. So you know you are getting the worst kind of Wi-Fi through Roku's. If you buy the $30 or you know uh, lower end of device, if you must buy Roku, uh, go with the $100 device. Uh, they have both antennas, so you get the five hertz band. They are using 2.4 and it's really slow it's showing me full bars because it's right on top of the router you see over there 
all right so I'm gonna go I'm gonna enter the password so pause the video here so it's checking if I entered the correct password I am not sure if that was the password so it was not I'm gonna go and try to enter the password again all right so enter the password again hopefully I got the password this time right okay yes I got the both check marks internet connection now it's checking and now your Roku player will get the latest software once the update installed it will restart automatically okay so it's gonna give you the progress bar over there so I will strongly suggest uh, get the uh, higher end Roku get the I think the $99 one is now $70 um, so go with that one get the the net cable that uh, the yellow cable is the net cable it's uh, always better um, you will either you get the $100 Roku or $70 Roku if that's your only way of uh, entertainment only mode uh, you'll thank me if not then go and invest in mesh networking go the buy the 200 or 250 dollar mesh network like google mesh or links as well up or netgear orbi uh, you will thank me but if, if you don't want to take my word go you are in youtube right now you make a search about mesh network what it is how it works all that all right so it's gonna do its thing keep doing its purple auto detect display all right so it's want to HDMI connection analyze and your screen may go blank and you know flicker or all that that's what was the warning so I detected my TV it's 1080p I know it's more than that it's 4k but the reason it's saying 1080p because the Roku the lower end Roku's they are 1080p they're not 4k so there is that's there is another reason to buy the other one okay go to our um, um, it's saying either go to automatic cancel I'll change something retry is I'm gonna go with the automatic so now it's checking the display type so that cable that they send is only able to transmit the 1080p so I think uh, 2.1 HDMI 2.1 is able to send and receive 4k okay you can try another if you like I want to change it to 1080p and now it's 1080p okay yes screen looks good yeah now what they want you to do on this step they want you to go to open a web browser enter the URL that is roku.com slash link enter this code that is unique to me at this moment this code will change if I you know if I have to go run somewhere and I turn it off so I need to enter that code and complete the setup on the web I'm gonna go and quickly do that I can actually show you the thing here on my son's tablet so basically you have to go to this website you see roku.com slash link the URL changes a little bit so you just have to do and enter the code so if you go and enter whatever is on the TV, your TV screen and you click submit so it's saying let link to your Roku account I need to create one I never had Roku before so I'm gonna pause the video here and create the account so the setup is complete um, on the cable or on the um, I did it on the tablet it asks you some like just a normal uh, sign up process name uh, date of birth ETC like build a profile but the real uh, the thing I really don't like is they you they need a credit card information so I don't like that I like um, like if I'm not uh, purchasing anything I should not be and you can prompt me when I'm making a purchase but you having it on file anybody can click on it 
and then you know next thing you know it